Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Last left off, we had been building some very cheesy um, CVEs, and we were preparing for our little scuffle with uh, Italy. Uh, and I've just been looking over the area, and I've realised that French land-based aircraft are almost outnumbered, uh, about one and a half to one. So we're going to have to spend a little bit of time improving some of our naval bases, our uh, air stations. Uh, probably uh, the one in Toulon, as well as Marseille. Marseille we definitely need to build up. Uh, we will improve the ones that are on uh, Corsica. In fact, we may build one at San Florent. I think Tunis is... Tunis definitely. Not don't think Sfax or Algiers will need, need improvements. Um... And we have a lot of aircraft based along the, this particular shore here. So that should be okay. Um, in the meantime, looking at our budget, let's see what we can do here. Um, I we'll still have some targets that are about to be done. I do need to go back and complete these trodies. Uh In fact, we will put... Uh, we will put one into the uh, into the shipyard right away and move one into the Indian Ocean in fact we'll move uh, this one into the into the Mediterranean as well Welcome back to the fleet, Luca. You have finished working up. AP bombs. Yes. Oh, 100 capacity aircraft. Uh, a new medium bomber. The, the Italians have a new medium bomber that's rumored to be even faster than our own bomber. Uh, Italy is building an 8 inch coastal battery and has increased their naval budget. Hmm. Well, 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 we can't let that stand, can we? Uh, Luca, I want you into the med, the maelstrom of the med. Uh, and who else is completing their work up? Uh, all of our battleships are at good or elite, well, apart from uh, apart from Jebonicus, who's still at fair. Uh, I do need to get the Galilees in for refit. Um... Forbin's good to go. Luca is getting to position. Sfax is still working up. Okay. We have those trodies that still come along. The trody refit is uh, very, very fast. So she should be out. Um, yeah, three months. No problem. She should be out in time for the fun to begin. By then, we will have the Tajes out of the way. And then I think we're going to start looking at making that Kataro. Ooh. Additional forces. That ship's up to 3,500 tons. Hmm. That would still be a very, very small light cruiser. Uh, we may pause, and I will... Oh, airborne radar. Hmm. So that's another radar set to uh, add to our collection. Um, so you see up here we have the uh, two, which is our search radar, and the one, which is our airborne radar. And we have had a uh, cap radar for a little while. Um, has knowledge of... Okay, so we're just getting what they have in, in the tech tree. Um, they're scrapping a few submarines. Uh, some of them are actually built much, much earlier than, uh, much, much later than ours. Um, 1928. Yeah, we've got, we've got submarines from 1922 here. Uh, which, speaking of which, we may, uh, scrap some of these. And we will build... 
called uh, one to replace them. Not a ex exactly a sound strategy, but um, well, we'll, we'll get there. Um, just got to wait for some of these ships to clear. Um, oh, uh, let us play around for like cancel. Let us play around with a 3,500 ton light cruiser design, shall we? Um, oh, this is too much. I'm going to have to pause and I will be straight back. Yeah, uh, so after a little bit of playing around, this is what uh, I've been able to come up with. It is um, 3,500 tons. It has the centerline torpedo mounts, uh, eight torpedoes in total. Um, but this this would be French. This would be current France's current way of doing it. But I'll tell you what. Just for today, we'll do something special. Now, if you wanted to do something very very silly, uh, you could give it one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, you could give it twenty torpedo tubes, and just. I don't know, make the enemy play a survival minigame. Um, is it any good? <laughs> um, she has a magazine box protection, uh, which means she... she uh, which means she probably won't explode randomly. Probably. Um, she'll only have... She won't have uh, too much protection anywhere. Um, we could give her her inclined belt, but she doesn't really have enough armor to make that effective either. Um, yeah, look, I, I wouldn't use this, um, but it's an option if you, if you feel like making this in the late game. Uh, that's uh, enough silliness. Let's carry on. Oh. Oh. Starting to get some errors. I think some ship uh, ship so starting to go missing. Oh, we have a new uh, new director. A six inch autoloader. <laughs> yes. Uh, increases kill chance of any submarines. Excellent. Uh, oh. War becomes closer. Uh, let's let us check how much that new system actually costs. It's heavy. It's very heavy. It is five uh, five tons more. It costs a few hundred more million. Uh, it would be a short refit, but um, hmm, that could happen in the next month. Uh, so I probably won't have time to do the Galilees, uh, who would have to probably skip getting... Um, probably have to skip getting or oh, I could bulge them uh, they probably won't be getting uh, dual purpose six inch caliber guns um, the only things we would really do would be mm, yeah they may have to just survive the war as they are hmm It's uh, definitely right now we do not have the time or luxury of commissioning a new class of foreign service cruiser. Uh, but we will put the Trody definitely, uh, the Trody's definitely need a rebuild. Um, there's no point having, a f in that much uh, busy airspace, there's no point having cruisers that do not have uh, some very, very good anti-aircraft protection. Uh, can we open these for rebuild? Um, you have an AA director, and you don't have enough tonnage for more. 
cool this is okay the javelin should have them the, the claymores have them the blackfish should have them um i believe yeah these these az's might not have them but they probably won't need them um i would just if anything i would just get more um i would just get more sub anti-submarine warfare capability on them uh if not oof, there are still coal-fired ships in the french navy uh, i severely yeah i'm very annoyed that we did not get um we did not get um oil fired until very very late in the mid game uh, increased elevation uh there's plenty of room we, we could just slap some more stuff on them uh, i'll give them they would only be able to take 2k guns yeah 2k guns uh we could put some medium aa on them yeah Ten months, but it's a cheap upgrade. Um, we'll wait. Uh, actually, these are finished. Uh, they're working up. Mm. Um, so we'll put uh, we'll put these two into the Caribbean. Oh, we're not getting that error anymore, and we'll put these two into West Africa. And that will allow us to uh, do this refit. Um, it's probably not worth... It's still cheaper than trying to build all new ones. And faster. There's no point giving it a fancy gun site. Uh, we will upgrade the guns, I guess. Um, she can't take torpedoes. Uh... And you needed room for that K-gun. Yep, there we go. That's what you had before. Double check everything real quick. Dual purpose. Oil, 24 knots. Yeah, I'm okay with the fire control not being the best available. And, yep, no, nope, send her in. And we'll pull you out of the med as well. Uh, you out of the Caribbean, rather. Um, in fact, we'll do uh, all of these, I guess. Um, All right, and uh, let us see. I have these free mind uh, mind clearers that need to be put somewhere. I have Northern Europe, Northern Europe, Mediterranean, Mediterranean. Uh, I'll put a second one into the Indian Ocean. Uh, and that will be part of our invasion effort. And I'll put one into, um, I've got one in Southeast Asia, uh, I'll put one into West Africa because it's close, um, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Italian submarines will be able to reach West Africa. And I'll put the last one into, um, Oh, what was it called? South Pacific. There we go. No, not South Pacific. What is that sea zone called? Oh, that's part of the Indian Ocean. Um, very well. We will, in that case, put... Uh, we've got one, two, three in the mid. Um, we'll put you into the Indian Ocean for now, and then figure out later... where to put you.
Do I have any more coming? I do not. Oops. Uh, type, please. Thank you. Oh, I do. I have two more coming. Just had to pause there. We had a little bit of noise. Um, oh, the Henriettes. Uh, we still have a few more Henriettes. There might be a few delays on them coming. Um, these Blackfish will arrive, hopefully, just in time. Um, the Breeze. The Breeze will be a bit late. Um, I don't have time to start the guitar. I was hoping to get onto it this... This... Um, I was hoping to get onto it this uh, this episode. Um, it only takes one month off. It's a little bit too late to rush that production. Uh, can I rush the Marseille? Uh, I can rush the Marseille. And that will take uh, two months off her time. Hmm. Uh, continue at normal construction pace for now. See how long. Uh, see how long we have until the Italians decide to blow something up. I'll ship Galilee. Yep. Uh, a future war. Uh, this may be the start of the war, gentlemen. This may kick it off. So let's take one last look, shall we? In the French corner, we have the uh, Picard, still flagship, which hasn't been replaced yet. Um, the Ocean class, Ocean Charlemagne Soufflin Gun Gunsight 1. We have the new Trident class, weighing in at an impressive 43,000 tons of hardcore ass kicking. The Trident class, uh, which is Trident, Magenta, and well, Magenta, uh, and Jabonicus. Uh, we have the Dequa, um who are hanging out in the Indian Ocean. I may move the Jabonicus over there, just to give them a bit of extra. <clears throat> um, fast, untested, sat out most of the last war. Um, the Marseille won't be ready in time. Uh, we have the Montclam. Fabled veteran Gordon and Fian, heroes from the Austria, the Second Austro-Hungarian and French War. Uh, we have the Dars, Darsa. What, what the hell is that still doing around here? Hang on, hang on. Have I missed something? Do I have to retire a ship? Um, that might be wrong. Um, we have the venerable Tarjes. Who have been with us an incredible amount of time would very much like a break. Uh, the Trodies, who were uh, sort of a compromise design from uh, from the late twenties, early thirties. Uh, we have the Galilees, who would very much like a break as well. Brand new Forbins. Uh, we have oh, a Duchess. Yes, the first Duchess uh, managed to arrive. So we'll have one fleet escort car uh, fleet escort cruiser, as well as these Forbin uh, general purpose cruisers, I guess you could say. That, um, they're certainly balanced for just about any role, but of course, in that that you know they're not as they're not as balanced to hunt down and kill anything else in the water like the Goidens are. Um, we have one more Forbin on the way. Uh, more Duchess. Uh, for our carriers, we have the Tourville, the Bronin, the Lil, the Aramachis, who's in the Indian Ocean, uh, Lafayette, and Little Wasp. Uh, we have the Bree and Cameron Versa, the uh, Elorn class, as well as all of our free classes of destroyers, including the Reserve Line Javeline, uh, who will be filling in the gaps. We have our sort of main anti-ship class. These are the gunboats, the Claymores. Um, 
so in a fight to fight against uh, enemy enemy destroyers or even perhaps uh, some smaller light cruisers, these things will be very much appreciated. And we have the more economical but very very capable Blackfish, who has a uh, very very good anti aircraft system uh, and mine. So these are very much our our fleet support our fleet support ships. Um, Oh, yes, and we have our lines and lines of corvettes. Um, and uh, less submarines than I would have liked. Um, but France makes do. In the Italian corner, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 treaty battleships. Or battleships and battle cruisers of 22,000 tons each. Um, the battle cruisers are faster than our battleships, but not by much. Um, and some of these battleships are very, very old. Uh, their modern battle cruisers are 39 tons, um, roughly equivalent to uh, our Ducroix. And we also have the Marseille coming along. Uh, their heavy cruisers. Uh, numerous, but not as capable. In fact, their latest cruiser, I believe, is lighter even than the Goydens. Um, although I would like to back the Goydens up with... It's probably too late to build them another sister, but we can probably update the design. Um, with, they have a few of these light cruisers. Uh, I'm not particularly impressed. Uh, they are fast, but they only have three six-inch light cruisers. Oh no, they have a couple of the older ones. Um, their carriers are interesting. Um, Fifty, roughly. Uh, most of them are carrying a roughly fifty aircraft. Uh, there's one smaller one, which weighs a lot, which makes me think that this one is armoured, especially with a speed of 18 knots. Um, all of these must have catapults. There must be something going on here. No catapults. Oh no. Okay, then where is that 31 knots? Where is that coming from then? And let's check this design. 23, uh, 23,000 tons, 31 knots, 16 5 inch cannons, uh, 5.5 inch belt, which doesn't tell me she's an entirely, uh, entirely armoured, um, but I suspect she is if she's weighing that much and only carrying 42 aircraft. Um, because with, with that weight, we could probably carry an air group of roughly 90 for a brand new carrier. Uh, without armor, and they have an entire swarm of destroyers and a very small corvette fleet that they have been building up, um, and a reasonably sized submarine fleet that they have also been building up. All right, uh, we will say we will be prepared to fight a war against any opponent, and we'll see if I have been during that entire spiel for nothing or not. I'll lay down another Corvette. Uh, one of our Duchesses has been delayed. Uh, yeah. oh, we have war next turn. And I did say that I was going to start upgrading these air bases. Um, so we have, uh, we definitely need to do Marseille. Uh, we definitely need to do, not to have, not, I think Mia's al Kabir will be okay. Uh, San uh, let me just check where that is. I believe that's the Corsican. Uh, Bonifico, okay. Where's San Jacu? Nope, not there, okay. 
Um, there's a motor torpedo boat squadrons. Uh, Sheerborg. That's if we were going to fight the British. Uh, Corsica. Yep, so that's uh, going to be expanded in four months. Uh, we will definitely need Toulon. Um, Dunkirk, no. Uh, we might upgrade Svax. I would like to upgrade uh, Tunis. Yep, here we go, Tunis. Expand base. Uh, air station Brest. Uh, we will skip on Air Station Brest, uh, Algiers. Um, uh, Algiers, yeah, no, uh, I'd rather do Sfax. So we'll upgrade. Facts. There we go. Hopefully that will even us out a little bit. And we will... Oh. You excited? I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Alright, gentlemen. Good luck all. God have mercy. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell you that. Yep, here we go. Uh, cruiser action. Uh, so they have nine battle cruisers. We sent our battle cruisers to the Indian Ocean. Um, and we only have two heavy cruisers in the area. Uh, we will take this, uh, attack enemy ships, but we will engage conservatively. Pascal is the only one that's shown up, and they haven't given me control of the other division. Uh, which is a little bit worrying. So what we're going to do is that is the airbase at Messina. Messina. Um, Messina. Yep. That's, I, I know my geography. Um, well, yep. So we will stay. We will probably back up uh, out of their airbase range um, at Messina, at least of their uh, torpedo bombers. Um, not that our ships have much to worry about torpedo bombers. And we will uh, stick to the coast between Tunis and Sfax as soon as we gain control of our ships. Uh, let's start. Recon aircraft are taking off. This is a good chance to check out. Oh, a night battle. Interesting. Um, this is a chance just to check our coverage of the Mediterranean. We have a big gap, of course, uh, right in the middle. Uh, but everything around uh, looks like it's mostly covered. So the solid lines are... Um, uh, hmm? I thought the solid lines were meant to be our coverage. Um... But that must be the enemy coverage, then, uh... Yeah, then the broken lines, uh, the broken lines must be our coverage. Um, yep, so our... Coverage extends, uh, roughly to the end of Sicily. Uh, but we have, basically, uh, the east, uh, the western coast of Italy bottled up, and the eastern coast of Italy. It's just the southern area and Sicily. Um, that we do not have, we do not have any, any, uh, any aircraft on. I am going to stop this episode, and I will see you all next time for the battle.
and we will continue straight on. Until then, ciao.